the humble seeker, the tool of their trade, but also the symbol of their economic well-being. The touch grass business have been part of their lives for decades, but the challenges they face are mounting. The challenges of this project is the theft. People, when they go around here, they steal our grass at night because there's no security. We suffered a lot because this grass, we, 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 we provide our children, our homes, everything. We do it with this money we get in this grass. Cutting, packaging and trading in harsh weather conditions is another hurdle. We are the grass cutters, the harvesters. During the harvesting season, we are sweating from the extreme heat. When it is cold, cold weather conditions affect us badly. We do not have protective gears. We do not have shelter, nothing. We are asking anyone to give us shelter. We are taking our kids to school through the income. There are people who just come and take a large stock of grass. After that, they would deposit the money into our account. But shortly after that, the money is reversed. So we are really running this business at a loss because no one is advising or taking care of us as women. We need protection. We need financial injection. The local sphere of government says informal trading is part of its local economic development plan. They've been working for some time and they are surviving uh, by the income that they get from uh, the, the, the trading that is taking place there. And we are, have hope uh, that uh, indeed that area will improve and uh, the major retail shops will be interested immediately we formalize uh, the traders that are working in that area. The group of women now desire a suitable building to conduct their business in couple with the financial investment to help them grow. I'm Gulule Gunyembezi, SAPC News, Emma